Now let's introduce the ZWC502 engine oil apparent viscosity analyzer. This is the test host. This is the refrigeration device. This is the negative pressure pump. This is the negative pressure pump connection port on the back of the main unit. This is the interface of the refrigeration device. Here are the connection ports for the water pipe and drain pipe on the refrigeration equipment. These two interfaces do not distinguish between positive and negative. This is the power cord and here is the data interface. In front is the display of the main unit. Here is the test area. Next to it is the oil filling port, which is also used to connect the oil extraction port of the negative pressure pump. This is the temperature control meter. The power switch is on the side of the instrument and the printer is above the instrument. This is the refrigeration equipment, which are the temperature control meter, the power switch and the refrigeration switch. This is an overall introduction to the instrument. When the customer receives the instrument and uses it for the first time, he should make sure that the instrument is turned off, open the bath cover, and then slowly inject anhydrous ethanol. The internal capacity of the cooling bath is about 5L. We will not demonstrate the injection here. Do it until the anhydrous ethanol is above the height of the copper tube in the cooling bath. Then cover the bath cover and tighten it. Then pour some anhydrous ethanol into any refrigerator circulation tube, and then use a cleaning ball to remove excess air in the tube. If there is a lot of air in the tube, you can repeat the operation several times until the anhydrous ethanol flows out. Bend the refrigerator circulation tube to prevent the anhydrous ethanol from flowing out, and then insert it into the connection port on the back of the test host. Refrigerator preparation is completed. Turn on the power switches of the host and refrigeration equipment, then turn on the refrigeration switch. The refrigerator starts to cool and stops automatically when it reaches the preset temperature. Here we set it to minus 40 degrees Celsius. Test the temperature display area of the host. We first set it to 50 degrees Celsius. This is the main interface after booting up. The first item is the sample test interface. Click to enter to set the sample parameters. The second item is current calibration. Click to enter and set it according to the sample. The third item is constant calibration. The parameter calibration of standard oil has been set before leaving the factory. Customers should not change it at will. The fourth item is time setting, which can be modified by the customer. The fifth item is the standard oil table, which is only for storage and query. Customers should not change it at will. Introduction to the host interface completed. Click the sample test interface. Before the test, you need to prepare petroleum ether, the oil to be tested, and the syringe. Before each formal test of the instrument, a hot engine test must be carried out. The temperature of the hot engine test can be set by the customer based on the temperature of the oil sample to be tested. Here we set the host temperature to minus 20 degrees Celsius and press the start button directly. 
Wait until the actual temperature of the refrigerator drops to minus 40 degrees Celsius before the test can be carried out. After reaching the preset temperature, click Start Test. The instrument starts the test. And the screen displays the results after the test. The purpose of the hot machine test is to observe whether the instrument is operating normally. After the thermal engine test is completed, the temperature is adjusted back to 50 degrees Celsius. Then the cleaning test was carried out. Before each test, a cleaning test must be performed. Open the oil filling port, insert the silicone tube of the negative pressure pump, and then click the negative pressure pump on the screen. The equipment will start automatic cleaning. During the cleaning process, you need to manually turn the synchronous wheel counterclockwise to clean the stains on the operating table in time. Inject petroleum ether to fill the stator cup without overflowing. At the same time, pinch the silicone tube of the negative pressure pump with your hands. Later, loosen the silicone tube of the negative pressure pump. Turn the synchronization wheel manually counterclockwise again, and then inject petroleum ether to fill the stator cup again. While holding the silicone tube of the negative pressure pump with your hands, you can repeat this operation two to three times in order to clean the oil stains in the instrument. After the cleaning is completed, let the negative pressure pump continue to operate in order to discharge the petroleum ether gas volatilized during the experiment. Next, use a syringe to draw the oil sample to be tested. Fill the stator cup but not overflow, and at the same time, pinch the silicone tube of the negative pressure pump with your hand. After a while, loosen the silicone tube of the negative pressure pump and manually turn the synchronous wheel counterclockwise again. Then, inject the oil sample to be tested into the stator cup and fill it up. At the same time, pinch the silicone tube of the negative pressure pump with your hand. This operation can be repeated two to three times to ensure the accuracy of the test results of the oil sample to be tested. After cleaning, unplug the negative pressure pump silicone tube and click on the screen to turn off the negative pressure pump. Compare the standard oil table, use CL250. Conduct the current calibration test at minus 20 degrees Celsius. Click on the screen to enter the current calibration. Use a syringe to extract the standard oil, exhaust the excess gas in the syringe, and avoid bubbles. Take a sample of about eight mm. and then inject it from the copper tube mouth, filling the stator cup but not overflowing. After completion, gently hold the rubber plug with your hands and insert it into the mouth of the tube to prevent the oil sample to be measured from overflowing from the stator cup. The refrigerator temperature reaches the preset temperature of minus 40 degrees Celsius. The host temperature is set to minus 20 degrees Celsius. Click start and the instrument starts testing. 30 to 60 seconds to cool to the preset temperature. After 180 seconds, the rotor starts to run and the screen displays the speed. Wait for the speed value to be close to stable, and then fine-tune the instrument speed. If the current calibration is not successful after the experiment, it is necessary to clean and calibrate again.
The calibrated speed should be 240 plus 3, then click Save and Return. After the current calibration is completed, click again to enter the interface and check whether our calibration result data has been saved. After the current calibration is completed, adjust the host temperature to 50 degrees Celsius and wait for the test. Next, we set the test temperature of the oil sample to be tested. According to the oil sample model, we set it to minus 20 degrees Celsius. The cold bath setting temperature is automatically converted by the instrument, which is minus 40 degrees Celsius here. We will provide customers with a performance parameter comparison table, and customers can set it according to the comparison. Next, we set the host temperature to 40 degrees Celsius and then wait for the instrument to cool down to our preset temperature. After the temperature reaches the preset temperature, reset the preset temperature according to the oil sample temperature. Here we set it to minus 20 degrees Celsius. Click to start the test. The circulation pump will automatically turn on and the instrument will start the test. The temperature will drop to the preset temperature within 30 to 60 seconds. The rotor starts running after 180 seconds. After the 240 seconds test is completed, The test results are displayed on the screen and printed on the printer. After the test, adjust the host preset temperature back to 50 degrees Celsius. Oil sample test completed.